Pisces. This is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 10th through October the 14th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Pisces for October the 10th through October the 14th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Pisces for October the 10th through October the 14th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Pisces for October the 10th through October the 14th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Pisces. Pisces, this is a peek at your partner. So, Pisces, your partner has the page of wands. Mm -hmm. Your partner has justice. Your partner has the king of wands. Your partner has the nine of pentacles. And your partner has the three of pentacles. So, Pisces, your partner has the page of wands. Aries, Leora Sag, this is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Pisces, listen, your partner could be receiving passionate messages. Your partner could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion, or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands <clears throat> for Pisces, partner. Clarify the page of wands for Pisces, partner. Clarify the page of wands for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the moon. This is you, Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Pisces, this is you. Clarify the moon for Pisces, partner. Clarify the moon for Pisces, partner. What does Pisces, partner, think of Pisces? What does Pisces partner think of Pisces? Clarify the moon for Pisces partner. It is clarified with the emperor. Could be dealing with Aries or Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually a older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Could also be work or business for your partner. You guys may work together. Clarify the emperor for Pisces, partner. Clarify the emperor for Pisces, partner. Clarify the emperor for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the eight of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering their craft, perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Pisces, listen, your partner could tell me that this is all work or business. Your partner could tell me that they're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. Your partner could tell me that they're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. So 
Pisces, it very well could be that some type of secret came out, even though you're the moon, very well could be some type of secret came out here. You guys had an argument and your partner said that they're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. Could be a secret that's coming out here concerning someone finding passionate messages because someone is dealing with someone else and your partner saying they're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. However, Pisces could have been some type of argument that your partner is having at work concerning work or business. I don't know if you know about it. It could be a secret or something that they're keeping to themselves here. Something secret going on at work here? Or an argument happening at work? You guys may work together and you may be arguing. Pisces, your partner has justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or your partner saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or your partner's dealing with something in the justice system. So listen, Pisces could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner could tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. Your partner could tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or they're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Pisces, partner. Clarify justice for Pisces, partner. Clarify justice for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But your partner is determined to move forward confidently. So listen, Pisces could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. For Pisces, partner, clarify the chariot. For Pisces, partner, clarify the chariot. For Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now your partner's taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching their inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Pisces could be dealing with a Virgo, but your partner could tell me, hey, I just need some me time. Your partner could tell me that they're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or they went on a solo search looking for something here. Clarify the hermit for Pisces, partner. Clarify the hermit. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the hermit. For Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with Aries. But the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith. Take a chance. Take a risk. And set out on a brand new journey. To do a brand new thing. Sight unseen. Just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Pisces, listen. Could be dealing with a Aries. But your partner could tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or your partner's telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Pisces, partner. Clarify the fool for Pisces, partner. Clarify the fool for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the two of cups. <laughs> Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So listen, Pisces very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Pisces. Your partner could tell me that, you know, 
they're well within their rights here. They have just cause to move on and move forward because they have good news here concerning some type of an agreement. It could be work or business, some type of moving on here. However, your partner is telling me that they're thinking long and hard here, doing some soul searching about moving forward. Now, either it's you apologizing to them for having taken a risk or a chance in you guys' as a relationship, and they can feel like it wasn't fair, balanced, and just so. Guess what? I'm just going to move forward here. However, they could tell me that they want to move forward to apologize to you for taking a risk or a chance in you guys' as a relationship, but not just apologize. Are they planning something here? Because this very well could be a proposal. Wanting to take a leap of faith and solidify you guys' a soulmate connection, maybe with the justice of the peace here or in the justice system here. After some type of argument of possibly a secret coming out or an argument with you, some type of argument with at work or business here, it's like your partner is wanting to make some type of move here with some good news. Good news coming in towards them with work or business or some type of an agreement or good news coming and from them wanting to take a leap of faith here. Pisces, your partner has the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take charge type of energy. Someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. And the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done, and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or your partner is wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for Pisces, partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Pisces, partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid, moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face-to-face -face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid, moving energy of being intimate. So listen, Pisces. Your partner could tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. So listen, your partner could tell me that they're taking action here because you guys had some type of argument. Your partner could tell me that they're taking action here to come in and communicate with you. Your partner could also tell me that they're taking action. It could be some type of travel here. For some type of an agreement. Possibly dealing with work. Pisces, your partner has the nine of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Pisces, your partner is telling me that they're independently abundant on their own or they're single. Clarify the nine of pentacles. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the nine of pentacles. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the nine of pentacles. For Pisces, partner. It is clarified with justice again. Like I said, could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner could tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You know, your partner could tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or they're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Pisces, partner. Clarify justice for Pisces, partner. Clarify justice for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling stuck. Like they're in a self-imposed prison of their thoughts. This is your partner feeling like they can't move, but they can move because it's all mental. This is them refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is your partner feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Pisces, listen, your partner could tell me that they're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. You know, I don't like 
justice and the eight of swords together. I don't. I don't know. It just went from relationship to some other shit. Seems like they're trying to get away with the chariot. And with the fool. And with the eight of wands. Now this emperor, yes, this can be work or business, but something fishy went on here with this moon. But this emperor could also be the judge because we got justice out here twice. I don't, I don't know. It just seems like somebody's on the run. Single, solo, on the run, or on the run because of this abundance here. Anyway, listen, your partner could tell me that I'm single because something was in fair balance and just we're not speaking to one another here, okay? There's blocked communication because we had this argument. Your partner could tell me that, you know, I'm stuck. I don't want to be single. I need to come in here and write a wrong and maybe wanting to apologize to you and work things out. But honey, I'm going to tell you. When I see justice in the Eight of Swords, mm, 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 somebody's Pisces, your partner has the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to your partner being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Pisces, yes, this could all be work or business for your partner. Your partner could tell me that they're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. Your partner could tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the three of pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the three of pentacles for Pisces, partner. Hmm. Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. Pisces, your partner could tell me that they're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so they could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Now, Pisces, yes, your partner could tell me that they're feeling a sense of betrayal with you. Concerning there being a third party, but that's not what I see. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Work and work. This is someone planning something, perfecting something here. This is also some type of plans or agreements here, some type of meeting up, some type of plans here. But let's just wait on the plans, okay? This is work. I don't know if you work with this person. Or some type of secret is coming out concerning work and there's a heated discussion argument happening and it seems like your partner has to get away. They have to get away. Could also be trying to get away from some type of an agreement here dealing with this emperor and this emperor could be the judge in this justice system here. So trying to get away. They're feeling a sense of betrayal concerning this agreement. This is not an offer they are willing to accept. Or they're feeling a sense of betrayal dealing with work or business. Because something is coming out concerning work or business that's making them want to get away. I 
really, I really cannot, I really cannot, I really don't want to put this as relationship here. They can tell me you had a third party, but it was, it wouldn't make sense to me unless it's you wanting to work things out and they're just kind of stone cold here. You guys had an argument. They found passionate messages, but no, I feel like this person is getting ready to be on the run, run, run away from some type of an agreement dealing with a judge that is, that's the effect. The cause is it could be work related in some type of abundance here that is putting them before the judge and possibly jail. Okay. I haven't seen one like this in a long time here. They're thinking about this offer, offer, thinking about it, running, because they don't like this agreement here. Okay. Okay. And Pisces, I'm going to tell you, you know, for the longest time, I kept telling you I'm having reads of you working with this person. You working with this person. And even though the moon is you, it just, it doesn't have to be you in this read. It could just be that some type of secret concerning this work situation is coming out. Uh, ooh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I want you. What else? What else? I want you to what? Run with me? Hide with me? Hide me? Oh my gosh. Finding out the truth crushed me. Something is coming out here. But I just... I, it, 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 if I can take that card, finding out the truth crushed me. The only truth that they're finding out is that maybe something was unclean in business practices and they're having to go. Or they're finding out the truth about this agreement that's coming towards them that they do not want to accept. And yeah, they may want you to run with them. That's all I could tell you. I don't even know what to say. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Pisces, this is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 10th through October the 14th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe. Like comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace